peanut flour. <laughs> Duh, that makes sense. They go down. Oh, it's not a ball, it's a peanut. I'm ready for it. Oh, wow. Holy, this looks good. And I wasn't even reading the word pumpkin, so I don't know what I was saying. Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I upload new videos every single Sunday. I just went to the mailbox and I got this fabulous package sent to me and I'm really, really excited to try it. Um, so what it actually is, is chia pudding but you can make it in five minutes so I was like I have to try this I'm like super pumped because that's so up my alley uh, at first when you open the package I got a sticker and honestly I'm obsessed with stickers so I'm very excited that's gonna be an addition on my laptop right away and then next it comes with like this low sugar chia cookie recipe so I'm really excited to try that I'll have to buy a few other ingredients that I don't already have in the house and I'm gonna purchase those and make them but it's really cool, it just says add plant-based milk and wait five minutes and that's it. So I have some almond milk and I'm gonna try these out. So the first flavor they sent me is banana chocolate nut. It says just to add water or milk, so it's so easy. It's vegan, it's gluten-free. There's 10 grams of fiber uh, per bag, I believe. Yeah, per bag, so that's really good. And 11 grams of protein. And I just love it, like all the ingredients I'm like super impressed with. There's nothing abnormal or weird that I can't read, so that's always a good sign. So I'm gonna check that out. And then the next flavor they sent was cinnamon almond coconut. And it looks so good. And honestly, I'm really excited to try this because it's normally something I wouldn't buy. So I'm curious like how it will taste. And then last but not least, they sent me crunchy peanut butter. So, oh my goodness, I'm gonna try this for sure. And I'm gonna add some bananas on top, like just cut them up. So I'm gonna go in the kitchen right now. I'm gonna try all these out. I'll let you know. I'm gonna show you everything so that you stay up to date with how this process goes and I will let you know my honest thoughts as per usual. Um, I will be posting some stuff on in my Instagram, so if you don't follow me already, definitely the link will be down below, but it's at MacTopa, and I share a bunch of healthy recipes, tips, fitness videos, all that fun stuff, and you don't wanna miss it. So anyways, subscribe, hit that like button, follow, whatever you gotta do, and I will see you in my kitchen. So welcome back to my kitchen. I just opened all the packages up, and I'm gonna do a like smell test, because I'm like super curious. Uh, so this one will be the cinnamon almond coconut. I mean, like, I hope they're not gross, because that'd be really awkward. But, oh nice, I like the seal. Like, something about packaging, like, if it doesn't seal well, I'm like, oh great, if I don't use it up right away, it's gonna be crappy. Good seal. Oh, wow. Okay, so this was gonna be my least favorite one, which is cinnamon almond coconut. It smells delicious. It smells very cinnamony. I'm okay with that. Oh, I'm gonna save the best for last. And this one is the chocolate banana nut. Oh wow, tastes like, or not taste, um, it kind of reminds me of peanut butter for some reason, even though there's no peanut butter in it, I don't think. Oh, banana nut. There's peanuts probably? Peanut flour. Ha! <laughs> Duh, that makes sense. And then this one's crunchy peanut butter. I'm ready for it. Oh wow. Okay, if you've ever had like the PB2, like the powdered peanut butter that you make, similar vibes. So what I'm gonna do, it just takes, it says, it takes one third of a cup of the powder, and then you add one third of the cup of either hot or cold plant-based milk or water. So I actually have some unsweetened almond milk, so I'm just gonna add that. And I have three bowls, and I'm actually just gonna put each one in and try, so I'll let you know, like, do they mix well? Do they taste okay? Would I, uh, I don't know what I was gonna say. So I'll try all three and then I'll let you know, do they taste okay, do they mix okay? Uh, would I add sweetener? I probably would, just cause like I like adding stevia, uh, but I'll let you know, maybe you don't need it. So let's do this. I made an executive decision to actually only do half of this because if I make all three, I don't want it to like fill me up and be so full that I have to waste it, not into that. Uh, so the only other thing that I'm like slightly concerned about and very curious more uh, is that it's so clumpy like there's like actual balls. I don't know if this is focusing, but there you go. Actual balls, I mean, oh, okay. They go down, oh, it's not a ball, it's a peanut. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow, okay. Well then that's okay, moving on. So update time, I mixed all of them. I felt like I kept mixing, like I didn't think they were mixed enough, 
But then when I look at them, like they look fine. So I think I was just probably over mixing because I'm not sure. Um, certain ones mix easier than others, obviously. So it did say on the package to wait, what was it? Stir and enjoy. So it says for a smoother texture, wait five minutes. So I'm probably gonna, it seems pretty smooth already, mind you, but I'm gonna wait the five minutes and then we'll come back and we'll check it out. It has been five minutes, so I'm gonna try them. I'm gonna start with the one that I thought would be my least favorite, because I kind of want to be surprised. And it's the cinnamon almond coconut. Um, as far as it mixing, oh, I love the texture. And I'm so excited the fact that like it's chia pudding and it's like five minutes because like normally it's put it overnight or it takes a long time. I'm gonna try it. Oh wow. I would not add stevia. It's actually really sweet. Wow. Like how is it so sweet and there's like no sugar in it? I'm gonna eat more. Wow. Okay, so if that's what I thought it didn't like, we're off to a good to start. So I can't talk. Chocolate banana nut next. Holy, this looks good. This looks like ice cream. I have to show you guys. It looks so good. Pumped about this. Also, I'm like super loving the texture with the chia seeds in it. It's just so good. Oh, I like that. It tastes more like peanut butter than it does like Oh no, it doesn't. That's not true. The more it's like in my mouth, I'm like, it tastes exactly like chocolate banana nut. I like it. I like it too that it has like peanuts in it. It like adds to it. It's like a little bit of chia, a little bit of the pumpkin, or pumpkin, sorry. <laughs> I was reading something and I wasn't even reading the word pumpkin, so I don't know what I was saying. Now is the crunchy peanut butter, which I'm pumped about. This is exciting. No, I don't think I mix this well enough. Hold on. Quick mix. <laughs> Mmm. Oh wow. I feel like I could make so many recipes with these, like 100%. Actually, let me inhale my food and then I'll do an update. So my final thoughts, um, the one that I, again, thought I wouldn't like probably is the cinnamon almond coconut and it was phenomenal. I actually just kept eating it and I'm just like obsessed. So after I filmed this video, I'm gonna eat the rest of it. Highly recommend that kind, and honestly, I wouldn't add any sweeteners or anything like that into it, because it's just like naturally like a perfect amount of sweetness. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, the crunchy peanut butter and the chocolate banana nut. I personally am kind of weird with like peanut butter because I either am obsessed with it or I'm like, mm, I could go without. But I think for these ones, I would 100% put them in like protein shakes. Like if I had a vanilla and protein shake, I'd add some in there because it was like phenomenal. It kind of reminded me of like if you could put a banana in with some almond milk and some of this with a protein powder would be phenomenal. So highly recommend. I'm really excited. I was like kind of semi worried that these would be like not as good as I had in mind, but I'm so happy that they actually like exceeded my expectations which is always exciting. So highly recommend, especially this blue flavor, this blue flavor, this cinnamon almond flavor. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed my honest review once again, because you know I tell you how I actually feel. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's not, but luckily for this <laughs> company, it's good. So anyways, I hope you have an awesome day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, because I upload new videos every single Sunday, and I will see you in my next video.